All right, we're on Kalim Perik Chaf Dalid Mishnah Zayin, seventh Mishnah, twenty fourth chapter of Masechet Kalim. We're in the threes. Shalosh Pinkasiyotin. Pinkas is a is a writing tablet. There are three kinds of writing tablets. The first one is the Shahi one. Ha apip ha ha epiporin ha epiporin to me amidras. Epiporin is like the Cadillac of writing tablets. Luach shemenichin alav avak ofar. It's some kind of tablet that they placed on dirt or dust. You write math. Who is very large? So my favorite is Rabbi Posen's picture. Okay, it's like so big that you you sit on it. It's like a sitable luach. I, 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 there's no way it looks like that. It's like, there's no way. It's like it's a huge iPad. I have no idea what it looked like. Anyway, to make me dress, it was something that you would sit on. Maybe it's 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 like a chair. Maybe it's like a desk, like a writing desk that they wrote on that they literally wrote into. Maybe that's what it was. Mishyesh ba beit kibul, or the normal writing tablet would like look like a look like a tap like a like an iPad or whatever. And the normal writing tablet looked like this. And if it had a beit kibul, here you could see there's a recessed area where it would hold the the stylus or the pen or what have you. Then take beit kibul shaba or hold the wax, of course. Mishyesh ba beit kibul shaba, place hold the wax to me ad to me me because they would pour the wax in and then write. And then they would just peel it off or melt it or whatever. That's how they would write it. Okay? The uh, chalaka, if it's smooth, there's no wax. And you write on it with ink. Then it's no rabbi klum. Then it has no beit kibul. It doesn't hold anything. It doesn't have a receptacle. And you don't sit on it. So it's to whore from everything. We'll stop here and dedicate our learning. Remember my father, Rav Simcha, Ben Yitzchak. Make it a great day.